Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So I have a couple new cut and collage books I want to share with you. I have not flipped through these books yet, so I am very excited to look through them with you. This is a book by Rodrigo. I showed a couple of his books in the past. Um, I have, where's his other one? I have one of them right here. He's the one that did this book, my favorite book of all time. And then he also did the one with the dolls that I did um, a video on where the audio was all funky. So hopefully I do him more justice this time. So, and then this one is from Keely O'Brien. And I am so shocked by this because I did not expect her to be a steam, steampunk girly. Uh, so I am super excited to see this. Apparently, apparently, she loves steampunk. So that was news to me. And I'm very excited to look at this. So let's start with um, Rodrigo's first. And so this says it's 1950s collage papers to cut out collage, scrapbook, and junk journal paper. So this book is not necessarily a cut and collage book, but it's more like scrapbook paper, um, similar to Keeley's um, Spring Papers book. Okay, so let's open it up and look. Oh my gosh, opening up the spine is always so hard for me. I say it every time. Okay, so... I moved the camera a little bit closer for this because I know Levi, you asked me last time if I could do that. So I did that for you. I hope this works. Okay, so, oh, I love how they put their QR code right here so you can visit them. So um, you can go to the modernistaprintshop.com. You can visit them, um, you can email them and then they're also on Amazon, obviously. Okay, <gasps> wow, these are so pretty. Okay, here's my only suggestion. I love these papers. Don't get me wrong. I 100% um, absolutely love this. But if you're going to be using this in a journal or something like that, it is easier for um, people like us if the image goes this way because we tend to fold these papers in half. But only if you're using it for that purpose. Obviously, if you're collaging and stuff like that, that doesn't matter. But I spoke too soon, wait for it. Oh, and it's double-sided. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. These would work good too if you did a, a tall skinny journal where you fold it this way. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. I love the black dots behind. Wow, these images are very vibrant. I'm really digging that. And I like that it's the same image on the other side. That's nice. You don't have to pick and choose which side. Um, these are adorable. Now remember, you don't have to keep these a full page. You could fussy cut them out. You could cut it right across here, make a postcard. You could do all kinds of fun stuff, especially ones like this where there's so much. I mean, gosh, you could make several postcards. You could make four or, you know, artist trading cards. You could just do like a little section. Same with him or her. Oh gosh, so many options with this book. Oh, that's cute. That is really cute. I love her dress. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh, I love her. Oh, I love all the collage behind these as well. Oh, she's pretty. She's really pretty. I really like that. <gasps> Ooh, I love them. Oh my gosh. These women are stunning. This paper is really nice, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. Ooh, and I like how like they're out. Okay, so they're, they kind of like blend into the background a little bit so you could see some of the paper coming through, like the background paper coming through. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Wow, she is stunning. Holy smokes. Yes, yeah, so you could cut each of these ladies out if you wanted to. Oh, wow, those are really pretty. Wow, that is cool. I would ride this so hard. Oh. Wait, that didn't <laughs> Um, I love this car. I, I would love to have this car. That is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Ooh, this one's really cool. Oh my gosh. All the mixed media uh, girls in the group here, girls and guys, sorry. Um, you guys are going to love this because this is very like mixed media to me. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. I love the straws, how they have. Look, the little cherries. Ooh, another car. Oh gosh, the backgrounds are so fun. Ooh, I love the feel of the paper. It's really soft. 
Oh, this one's fun. Look at all the collage. Oh my gosh, this book is fun. Ooh. Oh, there's polka dots on that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Love it. Ooh, look at her. Oh my gosh, look at all the collage. She's adorable. I feel like I could frame like so many of these and make like artwork with it. You know what I mean? I love the collage element of these. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is so fun. Ooh, this is such an interesting one. Look at all the dots and stuff they put. Oh my gosh, I am, you guys, I'm obsessed. Rodrigo, I love it. Oh my gosh, look at her. Can't you just totally see framing this and putting it in your house? Oh my gosh. Stunning. Oh, with all, like there's pearls in there. She's wearing pearls. You've got the vintage paper behind her. Wow. So cute. Oh my gosh, these are cute. Oh, I love her outfit. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I love all the little elements, little buttons and stuff. Oh my gosh. How many times can I say that? <gasps> Look at this page. Ooh. Ooh. Rodrigo, I need you to make a book, special request, <laughs> of just people that are smaller like this, like this. So that we can uh, use them in like smaller projects. Because if you did a book of all people, I would buy that ASAP. I already know. I love your work. Oh, okay. So he did do them this way. Oh, okay. So I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. So half of the book goes vertical and the other half is horizontal. So let's turn the book. All right. All right. I, I eat crow. Okay. So here you have it where you split it in half. Okay. I get what you got going on. I spoke too soon. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows what he's doing. These are fantastic. Oh, I love them so much. kind of just want to make a glue book just with these images in it. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, now I need to make like a 1950s glue book. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, I love this one. Ugh. Love it. Oh, these two together. So you fold right down the middle here. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, I love this page. Oh, look how cute this one is. Oh, I love it. These are phenomenal. Super happy with this book. Well done. Well done. Yes, absolutely freaking love it. I will put a description, or I'm sorry, I will put the link to this in the description box and a pinned comment because if this is your jam, I highly recommend this book. Very, very good. Okay, next up, oh, I'm excited. It's Keely's Steampunk book. Let's check her out. Oh my gosh. Even the cover's different for her. Okay, so. Whoa, garbage truck going really fast down a residential street. Okay, anyways. Steampunk, ephemera and patterns to cut out and collage. Keely O'Brien, 25 pages of ephemera, six pages of patterned backgrounds. I love that she's been doing this. She's been adding some papers in the back. Um, for, for collage or if you want to make a junk journal or something like that. So, ooh, look at how pretty this is. Oh, my gosh. Keely. Oh, my gosh. The little O in her name is like a gear. Look, the O's. Oh, Keely. Look at the attention to detail that she has done here. A little gear right there. Okay. All right. Ooh, and you have all these little extra bonus things right here. Perfect for Twinchies and artist trading cards. Okay, let's read this because I'm curious. Dear friend, I've been fascinated by steampunk for years, so it was high time I created a cut and collage book on this theme. I'd love to see what you create with it. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, these are cute. Let me move this over a little bit. Super cute. 
Ooh, look, the backgrounds are all grungy. I love it. Ooh, I love that there's like some square pieces in here too. Ooh, look at that. It says steampunk. Look at the little steampunk kitties. Aw. These are fun because you can either cut this out as a square or you could cut these out individually, whatever you want to do. So that's really fun. Oh my gosh, I love the steampunk roses. I've never seen steampunk roses. That's cool. There's like little gears in here and stuff. All right, it's garbage day. Sorry, folks. Oh my gosh, look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, there's a little mouse. I love how funky this is. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. So cute. Oh, oh, I love all the light bulbs. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. Look at the hand. The sewing machine. It's like the more you look, the more you see. Oh yeah. This is what I love about steampunk. I like the hot air balloons. I don't know. They really appeal to me. <laughs> Dollar Tree had some really awesome steampunk um, puffy stickers a while back. They were very vintagey and there was like, I did some artist trading cards on them. Uh, I love these. These are cute. You know what these girls almost remind me of? Like they could almost be in like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. What? Steampunk cakes and teacups? Who would have thought? Ooh, this one even has steam. That's cool. That's something I have not seen before. Ooh, oh wow. Look at all the pocket watches. Oh, look at this. This is fun. Wow, look at them. They are pretty. Love this. Did I skip a page? I kind of feel like that seemed thick. No, I didn't. Okay. These are fun. Oh my gosh. I want to cut them out right now. I love cutting out square, <laughs> square images because one, they're so easy, but I don't know. I find it like super satisfying to cut out squares. I, you know, some of you might be right there with me. These are really cool. Like, hello. Hello. Rare. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the cats. Oh, I love these like bug people. I don't know how what else to call them because they have like wings and like that's what they remind me of. It's like bug people. Really love the sewing machine. That's really cool. But this cat, oh my gosh. It's like a Maine Coon. Steampunk Maine Coon. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Look at the butterfly. Ooh, look at these, the pipes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I love this. The hat. Oh, these two. I can't even. I can't even. Ooh. These are like so like cyborg type. Oh man, these are really cool. Oh, I love this butterfly. Oh my gosh. Okay. My wheels are turning, no pun intended. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, here comes Zena. Okay, she heard me getting all excited. Look how fun these are. Ooh, look at the glasses. Love it. This reminds me of like some steampunk um, trombone or something. <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't that what that is? <laughs> wow. Can you tell I'm blonde? Oh, my gosh. Okay, well. Ooh, look at the shoes. Oh, my gosh. Look at their eyes. These big eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. I love these shoes. That is so cool. Ooh, and they're so colorful, too. I like that there's color mixed in with the steampunk, because steampunk tends to be very brown and grays, in my opinion. But she has, like, pops of color in there. Like, this has purples and pinks and teals and greens. You know what I mean? And I think that's why this appeals to me so much, because there's, like, color in with it. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. That is too cute. Oh, I love this hat. I am just digging the light bulbs. I just love it. You could almost put one above her head like she's got an idea. These are cool. Those are really cool. Ooh, look at the trunks. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the, like, little blimp things. I love the trunks. Those are cool. Really cool. You know what, Keely? This should have been a pug. <laughs> I'm going to have to email her. I need a steampunk pug. Although I'm not done with the book, so who knows. Look at the heart. Ooh. Ooh. Love that. Oh, my gosh. Look at those. So Remember the little kid movie, Robots? I don't know. This kind of reminds me of that. <gasps> Look at the bugs. <gasps> Look at the bee. The steampunk bee. Oh, that is totally cool. 
Um, love it. Wow, I love the steampunk bugs. That really just real nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty too. Ooh, there's a wee little tiny skull right there. That's cool. I really like the teacups too. I've never seen, um, oh, get it? Steampunk. Because <laughs> they're steam. <laughs> I'm so punny. Um, but I've never seen them before. That's really cool. <gasps> yes. Look at all the butterflies. Oh, I love the butterflies. Oh, this paper feels so smooth. Images, crystal clear. And there's plenty of space around everything to cut out. Real nice, Keely. Good job. I mean, she always does a good job, but I just want to let her know. She also did a good job with this one. <laughs> look at the doors. Oh, look at this kid. He's cute. I like, too, that she has different sizes of things because we all use, you know, we make different things. We make artist trading cards and postcards and junk journals and glue books and tags and pockets and you know, all the things. So it's fun to have different sizes because we all work on, well, not all of us, but a lot of us work on different projects. <gasps> There's a fox. Oh, okay. I'm obsessed, first of all, with the animals and the butterflies. Oh my gosh. These clusters are to die for. Teal and orange go together so well. I love it. Look at the fox. Oh my gosh. That one has his little goggles on. I love it. I love it so much. This is cool. Oh, another steampunk thing here. This is great if you're doing like a glue book or a junk journal. So you have like a, you know, you could put this on the cover if you wanted or something. Very cool. Oh my gosh. I love it. Ooh, look at the violin. That is so pretty. Oh, there's some, ta or um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? <laughs> Nameplates. Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. I don't know. But I love these light bulbs. Super cute. Okay. No pug. Tisk tisk. Oh, she did get a fox in there though. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's look at the papers. I'm super excited. Okay. The grunge on this. Love it. And it's got the orange and the blues. Well done. Okay. Let's flip it. Oh my gosh. I love these. Okay. So I'm thinking, cause I was sitting here thinking I want to create with these, but I don't, I'm trying to think if like I have steampunk paper or steampunk-esque type things. And I can't think off the top of my head where that would be right now. So I might make a little, well, I can make postcards out of these too. <gasps> the gears. Oh, yes. With the teal. I'm telling you, man, the Bettina look with the orange and the, oh yeah. That is too cute. Look at that. Oh, love it. Love this too the grunge on the back. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like pretty grunge. Oh, I love this. Wouldn't this make really pretty wallpaper for like an accent wall with the little gears in here? Oh, I love that. I, this might be my favorite piece. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at the back. Yeah, I might, well, I was sitting here thinking, oh, Keely. So, so cute. Yes, please. If you buy these books and you're happy with them, um, or, you know, whatever, uh, give them a review because all the people that I show of my cut and collage books are all independent people, just like me and you, independent authors and things like that. So these aren't big corporations. These are people just like me and you, um, subscribers to my channel, things like that. So Definitely, you know, let's help out our brothers and sisters that are doing this for a career because that's pretty amazing. I am so happy with both of these books. Like, I don't know if I've ever been so happy. <laughs> like, I love these books so much. You guys, true, honest, 100% reaction. I freaking love these books. I might have to get one more of each because they're phenomenal. This, it's so different from anything I have. You know what he does remind me of a little bit? He reminds me of a little bit of um, Anton. I think Anton had, you know, this reminds me of his style a little bit. Um, this is really freaking awesome. And Keely, I was skeptical because I had no idea that you were into steampunk. You blew it out of the park, girlfriend. The animals, the different sizes, the different characters, the teacups that are even steampunk. Like, I just absolutely love it. You have lots of variety. The papers in the back are phenomenal. 
Um, definitely the flower one I think is my favorite. And then, oh, it's a hard choice for the next one. I actually kind of think this one might be my second favorite because it's just so cool. So if I did a postcard, I might do like this on the background. You know what? Let's make some postcards, should we? Let's do it. Um, for Rodrigo's book, I'm going to save this because I want to make a glue book out of these papers. Um, oh my God, I, it's going to be really hard for me to cut up this book. <laughs> it's going to be so hard. Um, but yeah, I should do like a 1950s glue book. I think that would be so fun using his papers, right? Oh man, these are so fun. The colors and the, with the black and the white, you guys know I love. Yesterday for my glue crew video, I made some bookmarks using bright colored paper with black and white images and that is my jam. So, oh my gosh. Okay, I need to stop drooling over these books. Let me get some stuff together and we will make some postcards out of Keeley's book. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I went through the book and let me just set that aside. And I fussy cut a few things. So I left a teeny tiny white border around everything because steampunk images have a lot of little nooks and crannies and the only thing i fleshly fussy cut is a circle because that was easy but everything else has just a very thin white border just so it was easier for me to cut out although i did fully fussy cut this butterfly and i'm not gonna lie it was not easy nor very fun uh but ooh, can't get this open i'm just going to brown up these edges a little bit so if i left any white you can't tell. <laughs> There's a little fun secret for you. Just use a little ink. Nobody will ever know. Okay. All right. So that one's looking better. I am actually going, there are some white spots here that I didn't cut out. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of tan to that and that blends it in. Perfect. And now if you didn't want the thin white line like I did, you can also go through your images and then, in fact, I might do that. Um, just go around with a little bit of brown ink and that will take down the whiteness a little bit and you won't even really be able to see it. I mean, you could fully get rid of it if you wanted by using the ink. So, and because it's steampunk, there's so much brown, this just totally works so well. But even just adding a light bit of ink helps, um, take that white back just a little bit so it's not as bright if you don't want that. Okay, so I'm just going to go around these images real fast here. And then we are going to glue. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So excited. Let me get some ink on that. Wow, this looks really good with some ink around the edges. I'm glad I left that thin white line because adding this ink around it really made it easier for me to cut and then I'm basically getting rid of it by using some ink around my edges so or at least taking it back a bit you know so it's not as bright like that piece right there I need to okay all right all right so let me go do this and then I'll be right back because I just realized this is gonna take me a few <laughs> take me a few minutes uh hold on I'll be right back Okay, so here are the two pieces of paper that I chose. So I'm thinking I wanted to use a little bit of each and this should pretty much give me, oh yeah, that's exact. So I can use a little bit of each. Okay, so let's cut these down to, so my postcards are four and a quarter by five and a half. I just cut up an eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So let's see. Um, I don't need these to be five and a half. I really only need them to be a little over three. So I'm just going to cut this. Do I want to cut it or tear it? You know what? I'm just going to tear it because now I know where I need to tear it at. So let's just tear it. Like that. Okay. I don't need that now. Okay. And then, so I'll do something like this and then put the gears behind it and this one I can cut because I'm not going to be tearing it because it goes behind the torn piece let me move this out of the way so it would go like this or like this actually and then 
yeah. Ooh, so exciting. So let's glue this piece on first. Okay. Easy enough. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Got that part. I always cut my paper just a wee bit larger than I need it to be because I like to turn it over and cut off the excess because I feel like I get a nice clean cut that way versus trying to get it on there perfect because it has to fit perfect. Can't, you know, we got time for that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to switch it up here and use my paradise teal and I'm going to put that right here. And I'm going to put that first, really get that on there along all those torn white edges. Okay. And then, oh, I just stuck my top of my lid right in my glue. That was dumb. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with my brown and just lightly tap the very edge of the page. So that way I get a little bit of darkness and I get that blue. So it's kind of like it is patinaed. <gasps> yes, it looks so good. Okay. Love it. All right, let's glue that down. Oh my gosh, I love postcards. I think you guys know this by now. <laughs> Oops. Um, but I love them. They're just such a fun size to collage on. And then you can send your art to people. That's so fun. Okay, so let's put this on here. Make sure I get it to the edge because, you know, want it to look nice. Ooh, I love this. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Okay, let's cut it. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Listen, we all have our own ways of doing things. <laughs> I like to personally cut this with a ruler. I just feel like I get a better cut and it's faster for me and I'm not cutting into my postcard. So let me put my lid on my glue stick for just a second while I figure out what I want to do here. So I have this cat as kind of a main focal image here. That might look good. I also have the dog. Ooh, I think I like the dog here. Okay. And then I also have a bunch of little bits. I think the cat, I might use that butterfly thing for, or maybe this. Um, so I was thinking I could put like, you know, that there, maybe turn it so we get more of the gears like that, then maybe that, you know, something to that effect. Do I want to add a light bulb as well? Could put the light bulb underneath. I don't know. Something like that. Is that too much? Okay. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Maybe I want my light bulb. Well, that takes away my whole thing in my bob here. I could just use the light bulb instead of the. Something like that. I could put two light bulbs. Have them kind of be staggered a little bit like that. Or should I put them upside down like this? I could put one upside down and one not upside down. Could do something like that. Is that too much having two light bulbs? You know what? Who cares? Who cares? Okay. So let me start with the circle because I know I need that behind the dog, the gear. Okay. Let's put it right here. Okay. Now let's glue down the dog, the dog. Who doesn't love a good steampunk animal? Okay. Oops. Need to bring him up just a wee. Okay, there we go. We got the dog. Now do I just want to add one? I mean, I could add a butterfly too. Should I add the butterfly or I 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I do have the heart too. Could add the heart and then. Okay, who's yelling at me? I feel it. <laughs> Someone's yelling at me. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Okay. All right, let's go down. Got a heart for the dog. Oh my gosh, what if they had like a steampunk dog bone? <laughs> That'd be cute. Okay, so let's put that like right here. Okay, and then I will just cut this piece off because that'll be easy enough for me. Um, now I want to round my corners. This is my favorite corner rounder. It has a small, medium, and large. Love it. So the large is the same as the black one that I use for my composition notebook. Um, I just always use that black one because I always have. It's just one of those weird things that I do. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the, um, the border here or the torn piece. I'm going to go around in my paradise teal. Make sure that gets good and on there. Ooh, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Who wants a postcard? These are pretty badass. If I do say so myself, not to toot my own horn. And it really has nothing to do with me. It's all Keely. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my brown. So I use Ranger Ar Archival Ink. It's permanent ink, um, waterproof. The teal one that I use is called Paradise Teal. And the brown that I like the best is Potting Soil. I will link those in the description box as well. Uh-oh, got to sneeze. Hold on. Okay. So I'm just going to take my brown and go over it again. Not as much as I went. I'm not going into the postcard as much. I'm kind of doing more of the edge because I still want my blue to, or my paradise teal to show. I just want to add a little bit of grunge to the very edge because, oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting excited. Okay. Now I need a word. Okay, I found it. And I'm going to go with white. I know. Crazy, right? All right, so the quote I went for is, I have absolutely no desire to fit in. I thought that was perfect. Oops. Oh, darn it. I dropped a sticker on the floor. Okay, so I want to cut this in half. Oop. There we go. Okay. Oops. I am going to go around this a little bit in my brown just because it needs a little bit of something, something. I have absolutely black would have looked good too. I just wanted something a little bit lighter to, um, I don't know, pop a little bit more. I have absolutely I'm lightly touching this. No desire to fit in. Should I lightly touch it with my teal too in some spots? Like it's patinaed a little. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, that looks freaking amazing. Can you see that? It looks better in person. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to let you go. And then this would go right here. Yes. Okay, let's glue it. Let's glue it. Oh, we have a pug that has awoken. Get back in your bed, bud. Okay. I think he just needed to get up and do a little circle and sit back down. Oh, no, he's under my... Why are you under my desk, bud? What's going on? Okay, so let's go in with the teal again, like I did last time. Pretty heavy. What you snorting, snorting about over there, bud? You gotta go to the bathroom, maybe? Okay. Oh, that looks so good. All right. Cutting. We are cutting. Oops, my little tool got loose. We don't need a, a loose blade. OK, 
Okay, so I could still have it go this way if I wanted it to. Or do I want it to go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. I kind of like that. Okay, so we have our cat. The cat right here. I was kind of thinking... Well, that kind of... That might be too big. I mean, I could have it just cut it off. You know what I mean? Have some of it cut off and have it just be like half a butterfly or almost all of a butterfly. Okay, but I also have these flowers too that are kind of, you know, the geared roses. So we could do something like that. Hmm, I kind of like that. And then I could put butterfly okay that's what I'm doing let's start with this I know the orange looks really good but I feel like I needed a smaller focal image if I was going to use that because it's more of my focal image size if that makes sense um but you know we all do our art our own way so definitely feel if you feel like you want to do yours different definitely do it different okay so let's glue my cat down okay let's put this here so cute. All right, let me move that. Now, do I want to add this here or maybe up here? Ooh, that kind of looks good there, doesn't it? Let's do that right now before I forget. So we'll put that there. And I have it just slightly crooked, like it's flying. Okay, and now I definitely want to add this butterfly right here. Or should I add it this way? Let's see here. I think I'll add it right Although the cat is looking that way. I think I'm going to have it going towards the cat. There we go. And then... Well, I didn't use a single freaking light bulb, and I really wanted to. I could just kind of... No. Okay, well, there's that. Let's round my corners. And you do not have to round your corners. This is just something I do because I like the way it looks. So definitely do your art the way you like it to be done. The way I do it is not how it has to be done. It's just how I like it to be done. Okay. Let's go around pretty heavy with my Paradise Teal. Oh my gosh. Heaven. This is heaven. I don't know if I've ever done steampunk postcards before. Probably not. Okay. But I do have some awesome steampunk stickers from the Dollar Tree, though. So I could use some of those in the future as well. Okay. Going again in with my potting soil just around the edges. Because I like the way that looks. You don't have to do that. I just like it. I like it a lot. Oh, now I need some snark. All right, I'm gonna do this. Sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? That's what I'm gonna do because she has nice, big, purdy eyes. Okay, I'm adding just a little bit of this here and there as kind of like a little Bettina. Okay, there it is. Oh, I should add some gold dots. I think I'll do that. Once I'm off camera here, I'm gonna add some sparkle by adding some gold dots with my paint pen. All right, everyone, that is gonna conclude today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. All the links to these products will be in both the description box and a pinned comment in the comment section. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Don't forget to drink your water and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.